Alright, uh, I'm going to make a, a short video about this question because yes, one of the students actually asked me about this question. So yeah, this question actually is quite simple, but then you must get the idea on how to solve this kind of question in order to make, it, make you feel this question is simple. Alright, so in this question, I is a unit vector due east and J is a unit vector due north. Alright, the first sentence basically just trying to tell you that yeah, your this is your J because due north, and then this is your I due east. Alright, actually nothing special here. So a plan fly from P to Q where P Q is nine six zero I plus four hundred J K M. So first thing is you have to know that this one is something like position vector, or you can call it actually it is a distance. So this is. This is a distance in the I will call it distance into uh in the vec in the vector form, which is uh nine hundred sixty, i, and four hundred j. I prefer write in the co column vector because it seems so easier. Of course, you have to know the top position actually is. I mean the top uh first row means i, the second row means j. Actually fixed already. Alright, so if you really want to find what is the distance of p q, you can just do the uh, magnitude of PQ, which is modulus, and then use Pythagoras, you can easily get the distance. But then in this case, obviously you do not need to do that. Alright, anyways, uh, so this one, you can call it position vector, or in this case, maybe I will call it as, um, I will call it as the displacement. Okay, so this one I call it a displacement. Because it's not really the distance yet, but then displacement is something to do with distance. Alright, so a constant wind blow, blowing with the velocity. So I know the velocity of the wind is basically given is negative 60 and then 60. Okay, so given that the plan actually take the 4 hour uh, to travel P to Q. Alright, this 4 hour is quite important for me to find the velocity of plan. Because I know the velocity of plan basically is just like just like the displacement or you can call it distance over time. Speed equals distance over time, right? So velocity is something like displacement over the time. So I can get my velocity of of the plan easily because I have the uh the, the distance of PQ, which is a plan flight from P to Q. And then and then I have the plan actually take four hours to yeah, to travel from P to Q. So basically, I will just use the things, which is 960i plus 400j divided by 4. Alright, so then I can easily get something like uh, uh, 240i plus 100j. Alright, so of course I can write in the column vector again, which is like 240 and 100. And then you, you have to know this is velocity because velocity actually is including direction. When you write in the uh, column vector form, actually is 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 including uh, direction, meaning in what direction. Because if you do the trigo, you use tangent, you can easily get the bearing or whatsoever. Alright, so in this question, the question asks you to find the velocity in the steel air. I say whenever you see the words in the steel air, you know this is relative velocity. So in order to do the uh, relative velocity, obviously you have to uh, memorize the formula. It's something like velocity of the plan will equals to velocity of plan relative to wind plus the velocity of wind. Okay, this is the formula for uh, for relative velocity. And then in order to use you this one, this one already in the vector form, you can straight, you can straight away do. Okay, so velocity of plan I have ready, which is 240 and 100. And this is what we want to find, velocity of the plan in the steel air. Wind actually means the air here, right? So this is what I want to find, so I will leave it like that. And then plus uh, velocity of the wind, which is given, which is negative 60 and 60. If you, if you worry about examiner can't understand this one, you just like let velocity of the plan relative to the wind equals to yeah, just copy the things, uh, velocity in still A. Then examiner knows that what it is. Alright, so so then I will just do the velocity of plan relative to the wind equals to 240, 100, plus move to this side, it's just minus 60, negative 60, 60. 
right? Then you can easily get the answer. I mean, this is just simple minus. You have 340. Okay, 100 minus 60 is 40. This one plus 60, you get 300. All right, this one is you can easily get the format. Uh, yes. And then the second part, it asks you to find the bear bearings. Yeah, the plane must be directed. Okay, sometimes they will use the word the plane must be still. All right, so this one is very easy. Means means that you just get the angle from the relative velocity. Means over here actually you have three different velocity, right? So in order to find the the angle, it must be still or the bearing. Yes, yeah, so you always find the direction from this one relative. Okay, because you have the plan relative to winds, something like that. So you, you need to find the bearing using uh, this direction. Alright, so we have this one. I say in the column vector actually is including the direction. So what, what I can do over here is, alright, so I will just imagine how the 300 I and and 40j look like all right if this is j and this is i so the 340 means it moving at 300 to the uh to the right and then 40 to the to the to the north so you will have something like this all right this one will be 300 this one will be 40 and then this is the direction of this the uh, velocity of the plan relative to the wind Alright, if you want to find the bearing, we know the bearing always need to start from north. And then turn until this this line. Okay, so so what you need to do is you need to get this angle from the north until here. This is a bearing. But then in order to get this one, of course I will need to find the angle inside first. And then I will use the 90 degree minus the alpha. Then I can easily get my bearing. Okay, this is my idea. Alright, so I will do something like tangent alpha equals to 40 over 300. Just use back the trigonometry uh, rule, so katoa, so tangent equals to opposite over adjacent. This one, I, th I guess everyone can do that. And then use the calculator to do it. So you move the tangent, maybe inverse tangent, 30 over 300. And then you just use the calculator to solve it. You should be able to get an angle, uh, which is over here, I get 7.59. Okay, degree, or I can call it 7.6 degree because normally degree we write in the one decimal. So I can easily know my bearing from here. Okay, so in order to get the bearing, I will just use the 90 degree because uh, from north to east is 90 degree. 90 degree minus 7.6. So I will get uh, 80. 2.4 degree. All right, so but this is bearing. Bearing we always write in the three that's uh three three digits. So I will never leave like 82.4. So I will write 0, 082.4. Right, this is the bearing. Yeah, do the question ask us to route off to how many significant? Uh, to the nearest degree. Okay, to the nearest degree means my answer is wrong because I shouldn't have the 0.4. So the answer is just 0, 082 because as the question says to the nearest degree. If this is 5, I will write 083. Alright, this is how we actually get the bearing for this kind of question. And then this is how we actually uh, get the velocity in the steel A and give your answer. Oh, the question said give your answer like this. So for the just now, I okay, just now you actually see this. So this is not yet the final answer because we have to write proper because the question is saying like this I will write 300i plus 40j yep because yeah we always need to read the question carefully and make sure we can easily get the six mark okay this one basically is a 2007 paper one for additional mathematics just in case you you wondering where do I get this question anyways I hope this video can make you understand better about this kind of question and if you have any Question? Yeah, please post on the comment, or you can find me, uh, or you can find me on my Facebook page. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this video.